What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you and on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Today we have a Ryzen 3 streaming review. Uh, to do the hardware for this test, it was an R3 1200 paired with a GTX 1080 and then the software we used to test that was OBS, XSplit, and Shadowplay. Now I would argue that OBS is probably the most widely used streaming service there is due to it being open source, allowing for a high level of customization and plugins. So starting there, we used X264 to encode the stream, uh, lowering things like bitrate, resolution, CPU speed, basically just trying to get uh, you know as less, or I should say the least amount of pressure on the CPU as possible, as this is only a four core, four thread CPU. Here's the result. So now as you can notice, the stream is awful, getting updates maybe every 10 to 15 seconds. It's just absolutely atrocious. Uh, switching over to NVENC where you're using the GPU instead is more or less the same story and that's because it's not highly optimized for OBS. So OBS pretty much fell Ryzen 3 streaming. Now, uh, what's interesting to note is that XSplit, while almost the exact same results, Shadowplay is a different story. So let's talk about this. Shadowplay uh, is from GTX. It is their streaming slash recording service that ships with their GPUs. Uh, it's highly, highly optimized for GPU use. So lowering some of the settings, I was actually able to get a pretty consistent stream. Now the resolution is by no means optimal, but it's interesting to note because, uh, I mean, this would be an option for somebody who is wanting to stream and, you know, wasn't really so hung up on the uh, resolution going out. They just wanted to kind of share some of their highlights or maybe show with some friends. So Shadowplay might be a viable option, but the problem is this. I don't have just a stack of GPUs in my house where I can test every single, you know, GPU with, with Shadowplay with the Ryzen 3. However, um, at you were, I can't imagine anyone who's buying a Ryzen 3 is going to be pairing it with a GTX uh, 1080. Typically, because it is a budget CPU, you're going to be uh, pairing it with maybe like a 1050 Ti or an RX 460 or 470 or, or sorry 570 if you could find you know even find that with miners and stuff right now. And I don't think that it would be as good because you have to figure if you're using Shadowplay to encode and do the stream, it's going to be cutting into your GPU processing power. So you might lose FPS in your gaming and you definitely might lose, uh, you know, consistency with the stream. It might just be a worse gaming experience overall because the GPU simply isn't powerful enough to encode and stream at the same time if you're using Shadowplay unless you have maybe a GTX 1070 or 1080 or maybe 1060. So, um, it's definitely one of those things where you kind of have to experiment and see it for yourself, but Shadowplay, it looks like, might be a viable option for those who want to stream with Ryzen 3, um, if you, you know, absolutely want to be able to do that. OBS and XSplit, kind of off the table. I wasn't able to find any configuration where I was able to get a consistent stream, unfortunately. So, guys, I hope this review was helpful for you guys. Can you stream with Ryzen 3? Kind of, under the right circumstances. If you did like this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment down below and get subscribed, guys. I uh, Like I always say, even if you don't, I'm going to keep making these videos anyway, and we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.